Welcome to Sculpture Studios. We've got a rather oversized item that we're creating here that we'd like you guys to focus on. We're really glad you've opted to join us for this spectacle of a project here today. We've been contacted by optometrist Parent Boudia, who along with Bijal, his wife and business partner, own and personally manage Hatch End Eye Care. This is somewhat a less commercial and more intimate optician specialist. To make a real statement as part of their front of house display for the business, a piece of sculptural art will be installed by the front entrance. For this, we've been commissioned to create a pair of spectacles at around 7 foot tall. These will naturally be made from glass fibre, and though there shouldn't really be anyone touching this in the public domain, this will eventually have metalwork installed to handle the wind loading and the off chance that someone does see this as a climbing frame, by which case they're definitely in the right place to get their eyes checked. Here we go, Jack, huh? making a spectacle of yourself. Uh, I've just come out over here to check up. <laughs> right, we've got this here. Created that arch in there which keeps the shape good, is that otherwise it keeps snapping. So this acts as our bed, really, which is quite good. And you can just rest it on there and then take a mould straight off it if you wish later on. Cut using the usual hot wires, the peripheral shape is then refined using wire brushes and sandpapers. The edges are rounded off, not only to stay in keeping with how a pair of glasses actually look, but to ensure the fiberglass doesn't have any trouble getting around the corners of the shape. We've gone over with our usual secretly sourced sticky back tin foil, well, no surprise there, and this forms a protective layer between the polystyrene and the resin going on top. The black resin just provides a darker base colour and allows us to see a little easier what's already been covered. Once all of the resin has cured, we go over with a flow coat and this loses that fibrous texture. Then it's a case of simply going over and over with car body fillers, sanding it back and repeating this process until we get a much smoother finish. If a mould were to be made, we could have achieved a smoother finish a lot quicker using soft plaster fillers on the master pattern. A mould would have then been taken and the cast comes out identical to the pattern. Cutting out this mould making process saves a lot of cost for the client and at the moment the client's thinking about having the surface covered with a texture of glitter anyway, so this smooth finish isn't so important. Metalwork has to be custom built and constructed inside the job, so the fiberglass is cut in two, the foil and the polystyrene master pattern is removed from the inside, and we're going in with pieces of steel to fit the shape of the frame. This is tacked in place just to hold its form while we're working on it, before Raiden goes in with a more solid weld. Here we've done a few test samples of different sizes of glitter, adhered to a surface and protected using different materials, resins, water-based lacquers and car body lacquers, and we've sent our findings to the client to see if this is a route that they'd still like to go down. Martin from Fine Limit Welding has created a solid steel base for the glasses to slide down onto, and we've added boltable holes so this can be fixed in position. The wide surface area of the base plate means this is already going to be nice and heavy and stable to stand on its own, but it also means that Parent has a lot of surface area at the other end to add soil, concrete or gravel to weight it down properly. It's now time to invite the client down to the studio to meet in person for the first time and to see the progress of the work so far. We've been keeping Parent up to date with phone calls and photographs sent by email, but being only the other side of London, I say only, it's not an only journey if you catch the traffic badly, but being only the other side of London, it's a manageable journey that warrants a visit in person. Not only can the work be seen first hand, but it's also good for us to meet the client and the client to meet us in person properly. Parent has brought a pair of glasses down to the studio to discuss the intended finish of the sculpture. The original route was the glitter bling sort of look, but Parent's now considering a more reserved and more upmarket feel to better reflect the intended nature of the business. The sculpture has been painted with a 2K grey primer, and Aiden's proceeding with a black base layer, and this will help show up any areas that need more work, especially now that the intended finish is soon to change.
Just talk us through the uh, the process right now, Aidan. Initially, this whole glass and the rim was going to be in a really heavy glitter, so it was a very blingy. So we approached the project with a blanket coat and tried to is it work up the surface. But now he's come along and said he don't really want to go for the bling and the, and the sort of twinkly factor. And he decided in black with a bit of sort of uh, flecking through it, a bit, a bit of grey tone. But because it's now black, it's showing up every little detail. So we have to then now go over and stop in all the little detail areas with stopper and then fill it back, spray it, fill it back and spray it again until it's absolutely perfect. Um, but that's just one of those design change things. Uh, but I think it will look lovely in the end. With the nature of the change at this point, this means simply working up the surface. But uh, I say in hindsight, the, the project's changed. It's not, uh, it's not anyone's fault, it's just uh, what the client wants has changed and so we're here to cater for that. But if we were to go back to the beginning, we would have probably created a mold and then created a cast as this would have come out with a, a much closer to a car body finish from day one. But here's where we are at the moment and uh, we just need to crack on and get this to where the client wants it to be. it twice so far and I'm going over with wet and dry and I put a lacquer on the top and I'm having to uh, to go over it again and again just to lose all these little like, imperfections that I can see uh, and I think I'm finally ready for a, a top coat is after this rub down so it becomes really nice. Going over with the lacquer and seeing it in a kind of semi-sheen almost wettish state just brings up all the highlights when you see it, particularly outside in the sunlight, which is where this is going to be. So uh, this wet and dry is just, just removing any of these surface defects. So just creating the nicest possible finish for the client, isn't that right, Aidan? That's correct, yeah. It's got to be 2020. <laughs> oh, I can't get all of this in the frame. With the surface finish now where we want it, final lacquers applied, and Jess given the entire form a buff up to bring out that shine, we're adding a couple of finishing touches. The small rivet looking points on either end of the frames, in an almost brushed stainless steel look, completes the sculpture, and this is now ready for wrapping and sending to the client. We'd like to thank Parent and BJL Boudia for coming to us with this project, and now that this is set up outside Hatch End Eye Care, we wish them every success for the future. Please feel free to leave any comments below, as they're always appreciated, and hit the subscribe button for our latest videos. You can like Sculpture Studios on Facebook, and follow at Aidan Hines on Twitter, and for more of our work, visit sculpturestudios.co.uk. Thank you very much for watching.